Welcome live. Thank you. Good to have you on the program. Um, you know, I, I said earlier that this is, you're no stranger to Morning Live as, as, as the National Blood Service, and we're always doing these interviews, but I suppose it's never enough because it's a constant reminder people need to donate blood. That's the thing. Absolutely. Um, each year you'd find us come, uh, reaching out to the media yeah. in terms of the crisis we face, and it's a trend. We see it over the Easter period, we see it over the winter holidays, as we are in right now, and of course the December period. And it really isn't that the demand has increased for blood. It's purely the fact that donors are not making the effort to donate. Okay. Why? Why specifically winter? I mean, that's, that's quite interesting. Why a trend now? Well, there's various factors. Um, schools play a big part in our blood collection. We collect about 45% of the blood from school drives. So with students being on exam break and obviously the exams to follow and then the holidays, we don't or are unable to have those blood drives at the universities and schools. And then we have the added factor of the flu. And in winter, most people contract this virus. They're on antibiotics, so they're unable to donate blood for okay. a period of seven days after they finish their antibiotics. Okay, all right. And that, that wipes out a lot of the public. Because, I mean, this, is, this, this, flu, this flu is terrible. I mean, you were commenting on it now with me. I just can't get rid of it. You know, it's just something that, that sticks with you. So I can imagine you lose a lot of regular donors as well. Yes, and regular donors are what we actually reach out to in, yeah. in a crisis because we know the blood is safe. We know we've done tests with their, their blood before. We, we still want to attract new donors. And so we, it's a call to anyone who meets our minimum requirements. Mm. If you're between the ages of 16 and 65, weigh a minimum of 50 kilos and obviously live a healthy and sexually safe lifestyle, yeah. we need you to come through to visit us and, and you know, do your little health check with your, your iron levels and your blood pressure and, and we, we really need you to get involved. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the situation. Um, are we in a crisis at the moment? Is it very serious when it comes to the levels that you have? Absolutely. Mm. Today we're sitting on 1.8 days blood. Okay. And what that in essence mean on any given day we need to sit at five days which is a safe enough level to meet sure. the demand for the country to reach that level we need to collect 3,000 units of blood a day and each day that's not met it gets carried over to the day after okay. so right now at 1.8 days if we don't collect anything over 3,000 for the next few days we will be in a crisis and a crisis really means is we send out communication to hospitals and doctors to say Please cancel your planned operations. There's um, a short supply of blood. So if a doctor asks for four units for a patient, we may only be able to give two. Yeah. So it's various factors, and it impacts many, many lives. Yeah. I mean, your function is you, you, as the South African National Blood Service, you donate to the entire country, to all of the hospitals, to absolutely everybody. This is your role. Absolutely. We collect, and we arrange. If there's enough blood, we get it to where it needs to be. So it doesn't matter which province you live in. If there's a short supply in one province, and an over-collection in another, we move the blood where it needs to get to. Yeah. How long can you keep the blood? Well, a blood can stay, hold, whole blood can have a five-day lifespan, but we process the blood into various products, the red cells, the plasma, and the platelets. And platelets itself is what cancer patients need most, uh, mostly, and that lasts for five days. So we continuously need fresh blood. Mm. I mean, if, if you had to sort of... Uh, perhaps it's a difficult question, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's analysis that you do on a daily basis. How, how much blood is used in South Africa? I'm talking on average. I'm, I'm not even talking about, you know, the, the periods that you mention with, with holiday seasons and, and increased accidents and, you know, when you need it desperately. But on average, what, what do you need a day? Well, like I mentioned, the 3,000 units of blood that we need to collect is based on what the demand has shown over the, over the years. Yeah. So there might be one or two times in the year where we pick up that there is a greater demand for blood in terms of operations. People are getting closer to the end of their medical aid um, in the, at the end of the year, so they plan their operations. So this, uh, the demand increases around that time. But generally, 3,000 units meets our daily demand. Okay. All right. And... Um, has there ever been a situation where it's, you have been in a worse crisis, where you haven't been able to provide? Has it, has it gotten to a situation like that? Well, yes. We've gotten down to under a day sure. about twice since I've joined the organization. Wow. So in, you know, that in itself, you, you hear people who uh, reach out to the media because their family members are being impacted because yeah. they have to wait till there is blood available. So it's only, I suppose, when it's, a, it's personal and you know your family members are impacted 
do people make the extra effort? But yeah. we, we're trying to reach out and tell people, imagine that this is your family members that are waiting for blood. Um, and, and use that thinking style to come through and, and donate regularly. Mm. Four times a year is what we encourage our donors to donate. Okay. And you can donate once every 56 days. Okay. So um, just finally, finding the, the, the closest place to you that you can donate. Um, I know there's a helpline. Is there a website as well? Yes. Our website is www.sanbs.org.za mm. or our toll-free number is 0800 9031 We've also made it more convenient for your nearest donor center if you SMS us your name and your postal code to 31454. We'll send you back details of the nearest donor center. And those SMSs cost about one rand. Excellent. 315. 31454. Okay, 31454. All right, that's the SMS line. SMS your uh, name and your postal code, and then they'll tell you exactly where to go. So that's absolutely fantastic, making it easy for everyone. What's that blood group that's most in demand? O is generally oh. where the increase um, okay. for the demand is, purely because it's a, yes, it's a universal blood group. Yeah. So in emergencies, that's what's actually needed for donors where doctors are unable to determine yeah. their blood group. All right. So if you are an O blood group, you are blessed because you can help everybody. So go out there and donate. But it doesn't matter what blood group you are. Just uh, try and donate. You know, Andile's got the message. She's the one on the adverts. Hey, you're talking about it, Andile. Oh.